Welcome back to my envelope junk journal folio. Today we're picking up where we left off in part one and it's all about decoration and detail. We'll be adding character to our folio pages using the adorable image from the Digital Collage Club, inserting a signature for a personal touch and tucking in bits of ephemera. We'll also focus on functionality, ensuring our creations are not only beautiful, but also practical with a handmade closure to keep all our treasures safe. So grab your materials and let's get started on this next phase, making sure every element adds a little more joy to the journey. Let's jump right back in. Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. Before we attach this, I need to put something on the background here because once this is on, we won't be able to. So let's find something for there. How about we do this one? Because once we put this over, it will not cover up the bunny. Let's do it. See, on this back side, we don't see the bleeding. Here it's just the mica stain. And here we see the bleeding. Huh. So interesting. Must be the ink of the printer. Why am I putting glue on the whole page? I'm always the one saying you only need to glue the edges. <laughs> the excitement of doing something new. Now before I glue this on, I want to ink up the edges. I'm also thinking I'll cut a corner that will just make a more interesting tuck spot. Yes. So let's close this up. And of course we want something here as well. So with this background paper, look, we ha could have these two looking at each other. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> so let me trace this shape. Okay, so I'll just cut inside of those lines. How we did. Ooh, we're not bad. Okay, I'll ink that up and then I can glue that down. We also need something for inside here. How about this guy? It's like this guy is the dad and that's his little baby boy. Actually, it makes more sense to make the lines on the back side because I can see them a lot better. Since the image is centered, that should be okay. And height-wise, I won't cut anything off the bottom, but off the top. If I'm unsure, I can just look through the light if those will work, yeah. And since I'm going to need the same measurement for the outside here, let's just use that. And I'm going to choose this image here. I'll put it on the back and just trace that so that they're the same. So this is the inside. And this is the outside. And finally we can glue this on. Let's glue it on so that these are on the same height, so they're actually looking at each other. <laughs> okay, so I'm just adding glue on this edge where it folds. And on the bottom. <laughs> Cute! So checking if everything still works, yes. So next I'm going to cover all of my empty surfaces with the pages that I have already prepared, including this here. So I will kind of alternate between the ones with the sewn edges and the plain ones. And I'm, of course, also checking that these are more or less lined up. It's 
Since this one is a pocket and it's a bit more narrow, I'm going to cut one of these down. This is so adorable. Can't stop smiling. So remember this is a pocket here as well. Now we need to do these three outsides. So this here is the front cover. Then this little cutie goes here. I'm thinking now I should have posted this before Easter. But then again, Peter Rabbit is always in season, isn't he? Okay, we have all of our sides covered. So next I want to add my signature here where we added the extra paper strip. Let me bend this back. I've put together 10 pages of my coffee dyed paper. I'll give you a flip through once I've sewn them in. And I'm simply going to sew them in with a three hole pamphlet stitch. So I'll just clip them together. And I think I will just sew right through without even punching the holes before because it's just three holes. Is that smart? No, actually I'll punch the holes. So let's place this where we want it. So then I'll eyeball approximately the middle. And then make a hole on either side that look like they are more or less symmetric. If you want to measure, then please go ahead. And then I'm going to use this beautiful golden thread, because why not? And this time I want to take a longer thread. Usually I would take two and a half of the height of my book, but I also want this to be my closure. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. Let's see, one, two, three, Four. I'll do five and hope for the best. Gold thread is a diva, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so since I want this to be a closure, I need to start from the outside. Usually I would start from the inside out. We'll leave a long tail, then we'll go up. It doesn't matter either up or down. go down and then out through the middle again make sure we're coming out at the other side of the golden thread this is totally not where it needs to be <laughs> so one end is much shorter than the other. Easily fix that. So I want my ends to have the same length. It's easy with a three hole pamphlet stitch. Okay, then I'll tie a double knot to secure my signature. And then let's see if this works. The idea was that once, let's take these off. So this goes here, this goes here, and then this closes. And the idea is to just tie this around, and I think I should have made it longer so I could double it. So I might change this later for a thicker thread. 
I definitely wanted to have a closure because of the signature. It of course gets bulky and then it won't stay closed. Yeah, it needs something thicker. Anyway, that's the idea. We can think about that later. But we need to add some of our ephemera. So the easiest one will be the one up here because we already have a pocket. Difficult. <laughs> I think this would be a good place to add our folio, which has lots of writing space. So we can put that in here. You could, of course, make this into a pocket by just cutting off a sliver. Let's think about that. We can also, of course, add some ephemera to our journal pages if we wanted to. What about these? So one of these has to go on a left side. Not here. Not here. Not here, but maybe here we could add this one. Yep, let's do that. So this becomes a tuck spot. Do we have a space for this one? No, so let's put this one in the journal. Oh, this way you get to see the pages because I said I would give you a flip through. So lots and lots of writing space in here. So let's find yeah, like a page like this and we could add it here. I'm leaving this top part open so it's easy to slide something in. And I think I'll add all of the pockets here on these pages because I don't really want to cover up all these adorable images. So we'll add one here. Then we'll put one further back, maybe here. Then we have this little guy. We'll put him here. And finally, this one. Let's put her here. Then we'll stick one of the journaling cards in here along with some more paper for more writing space. And we'll find the other one of those kind of pockets here. And we'll add this cutie along with some more writing space. And then in this one, we'll add this piece for writing space. Okay, that's a bit too wide and too long. Well, let's try that again. That's better. And we'll add this one. And then we have one more pocket. Not that we have to put something in every pocket, but we have this one. Let's see if this one will fit. We can stick this one in here. And then we, of course, still have two pockets where we could add something. We have one here. I have a few of these left over, so let's add these for more writing space. And 
And then the second one is up here. I have these two left. They're so, so cute. Oh, we have another pocket here. So let's take one of these out. And put it in this pocket. So it definitely got a bit bulkier, but still totally fine. So instead of this thin gold thread, or maybe not instead, but in addition to this gold thread, if I can make that work, I want to add these fun fibers. These are from Taperlogy. I will link their website below for you. I think these are so fun. I just need to find a needle that is big enough that I can thread this through. And I think the gold thread would be a nice addition to this thread. So I'll start by taking this one out. I think I'll have to cut it off. I knotted it so tightly. So I took the golden thread off. I clamped this into place again. Before I used five heights of the book, which was a little bit too much. So let's do four and a half. Because I don't want to waste this. One, two... Or shall we do four? If it's too short, that's not good either. Yeah, I'll just do four. Take the same amount of this gold thread. I have one of these big eye needles. You can search for these. These are used for jewelry beading because they have a huge eye in the middle. Let's see if this is going to work. I might not be able to get this through the holes of my book because the holes are very small. <laughs> This might go terribly wrong, but we won't know until we try. Here we go. From the outside in. I don't think this is going to work. Also, this is of course not very sturdy, so... <laughs> Can I even get it through the hole? Not the Adia needle for book binding. Because it's bending. We're doing each page individually. <laughs> because otherwise it's not working. Okay, we're through with the needle. Let's see if we can pull through the thread. It's very bulky because, of course, we have it twice. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should punch holes with my hole punch. Yeah, this is not going to go through. Barbara, what are you thinking? So I have these here by Fiskars. There's three different width widths. An eighth, one sixteenth, and three sixteenths. So this is what the different hole sizes look like. I think this will be too small, so I'll use the medium one, which is the one eighth. And I'll do this off camera because I'm not going to do it on this glass plate. Basically, you just pull this up, release it, and then it will punch the hole, but it's very, very loud. Another alternative might be a big bite if you have one. Okay, I have my holes. Let's try this one more time. Still difficult. Ah. Okay. I broke my needle. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. Okay, we're, we're not using this. Okay, I'm going to try this ribbon. It might be too wide. <laughs> Thankfully, I have a couple more of these needles. This might be the next disaster. <laughs> And if you're thinking, Barbara, why don't you use a normal thread and then just wrap a ribbon around the cover? Yeah, that would be admitting defeat. <laughs> oh, this is not working. This is bunching up here and not going through the hole. Yes, I could make bigger holes, 
but I don't want to. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at that. Ah, we have a winner. Oh, I didn't measure it. Okay, let's eyeball this. One, two, three, four, and let's have a little bit extra just in case. No, I broke the second needle. <laughs> Not doing that either. I'm going to go back to what I <laughs> originally started with. I'm going to sew these on with my golden thread. So we'll just do one, two, and a half we'll do a very normal three hole pamphlet stitch i'm admitting defeat now i'm kind of bummed that my holes are so big because for this thread i certainly wouldn't have needed it i'm actually going to go now from the inside out which is what i would normally do can't say i didn't try Where did it go? <laughs> See, if you're struggling with sewing in signatures, you're not the only one. And it doesn't get easier than this. <laughs> okay, so let's tie this off with a double knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and now we can actually go back to what I wanted to do, which is to use this beautiful thread. And I'll keep the gold thread in. I have my limits of what I'm willing to compromise on. <laughs> so maybe it goes around twice. Yes, it does. Thank you for bearing with me if you're still here. Okay, this thread is, is the perfect fluffy thread for a journal folio like this. Unfortunately, we now blindfolded this bunny. <laughs> oh, poor bunny. If I move it further up. No, it's okay. He's not planted yet, but we don't really see him well. <laughs> anyway, this is my junk journal folio. I do hope you had fun with this idea. Don't be afraid to experiment with your envelopes. There are no limits to what you can do with flips and flops and everything. There are so many options. So just have fun playing with this idea. I had loads of fun with this. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.